Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on database management system. So in the previous video, I uh, explained you about complex integrity constraints. And in this video, we are going to look at embedded SQL. Okay, you already know about SQL, structured query language. So uh, using SQL, we can write different queries. Uh, we have already seen the, all these queries and you have executed them on a database also. So then what is embedded SQL? What is the need for embedded SQL? So it is very simple. If you are writing some SQL statements in some programming language, either C, C++, Java, or any other programming language, that is called as embedded SQL. So why we need to write SQL statements um, in programming languages is, I mean, using the programs, using programming languages is, maybe you want to test some complex conditions which you will not be able to do using only SQL queries, okay? For that purpose, we will use embedded SQL, right? We will be using the power provided by the programming languages like C, C++, Python, etc. So let's see, okay? So as I told you, sometimes, uh, the operations which are provided by SQL might not be sufficient uh, for implementing the business rules in your programs. So that's why we use the power of host languages, also called programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python, etc. And if you are writing, or I would say embed, embed SQL statements in a host language program, that is called as embedded SQL, okay? If you are writing SQL statements in a program using any programming language, that thing is called as embedded SQL, right? Okay. Now, whenever you are using embedded SQL, that is you are writing SQL statements in a programming language, you should take care of two things, okay? So first one is you should take care of converting the data types between SQL and the programming language and vice versa. Okay, for example, uh, your programming language uh, supports the data type double. Okay, let's say maybe C, C language supports this data type double, but this data type might not be supported by your DBMS, let's say Oracle. Let's assume that C supports the data type double and Oracle does not support this data type. So whenever you are inserting this data into the DBMS, okay, you should convert this type into another data type which is supported by Oracle, maybe float. Okay, so this is the meaning of this first point, right? And second one is uh, SQL or you can say DBMS is set oriented. Okay, set oriented means uh, it works using or it works on two dimensional data structures like you can say table, table of data, okay, two dimensional array, array, right? Whereas if you take a host language program, let's say C, C language, it cannot work on uh, two dimensional data. It only works on one dimensional data, that is one row at a time. Your program can read only one row at a time. So what to do? Your SQL works with two dimensional data and your host language works with only one dimensional data. So what you can do is you can use something called cursors. Okay, we will see this in a few minutes, but remember that we will solve this problem using a concept called cursors. What does a cursor do is it converts the two dimensional data into one dimensional. That is it gives, it reads the data row by row. Okay, right. Now, Let's consider C language, C programming language. So I am giving you the syntax and all these things with respect to C language. Okay. So in C language, how do you declare variables using embedded SQL? So you will always write something called exec SQL begin declare section. And then you will start declaring variables. And at the end you will write exec sql and declare section okay pretty simple rogue right 
and whenever you are using those variables inside SQL statements, you will always prefix them with column, with this symbol column, right? Now let's see an example for this. So these are the variables which I have created. Just so there are four variables, okay? So I am using uh, for employee ID short data type for employee name care data type for address care and for salary I am using int so writing these things that is C underscore before the variable names is not uh, compulsory you can write them or you might not write them but to distinguish between normal variables and SQL variables we are prefixing all the variable names with c underscore that's all so this is not a not a part of syntax okay and you should remember that before creating any variables you have to write this line and after creating the last variable you have to write this line so all these are keywords okay remember it and next whenever you want to uh, execute an sql statement you will write this keyword exec sql so these are actually two keywords exec and sql so here you can see an example so this is sql statement right insert into employees values you already know this so before that we have to write exec sql okay so where you are writing this program i mean where you are writing this line you will be writing this line inside a c program okay and you can see here we are prefixing the variable names with column okay everywhere you are seeing this uh, symbol column okay i already told you this point right uh, here the variables in a host programming language must be prefixed by column so example for this is here okay right like uh, i have already told you on um, the major drawback of uh, writing embedded SQL is your programming language works only uh, with one dimensional data, right? It, it does not work with two dimensional data. So to tackle this problem, there is a concept called cursor. So what does the cursor do is cursor will, cursor will form a channel to the database table and it will retrieve the data row by row. Okay. So to you use the cursor in your program, first of all, you have to create the cursor. Then you have to do these three operations, open the cursor, fetch the data row by row, and then finally close the cursor. So how to create the cursor? So this is how you create the cursor. So declare keyword. So this is the cursor name. Cursor name is e info, that is employee info. Again, cursor is keyword, another keyword for okay so declare e info as a cursor per so this is the sql statement we need some data now cursor always works on data so this is the data select employee id and employee name from employees table as e where salary is greater than colon c underscore square cell so this variable is coming from c language whereas this belongs to dbms okay so this is going to create the cursor whose name is e info after cursor is created you have to open the cursor right so this is how you open the cursor open e info very very simple and then you will write this line inside a for loop or while loop or whatever loop you want which is going to fetch one row from the table okay and it is going to store the values inside these variables c underscore e name and c underscore eid so after uh, doing whatever you want with these values you will finally close the cursor close e info okay so that is it about embedded sql right the next video we are going to look at dynamic sql so please like the video and subscribe to my channel for latest notifications and if you have any doubts you can comment below the video thank you